Christine, here's a look inside of one of the boxes that's being prepared here in New Orleans. They'll leave the city by the end of this week and be flown into the Bahamas. As soon as the airports are cleared, it's all the effort of one New Orleans entrepreneur to feed the survivors of Hurricane Dorian. God be with us. Y'all keep praying, no doubt. As the Atlantic surges into homes and winds strip trees and rip off roofs, people in the path of Hurricane Dorian are just trying to survive. We need help. Everything down. Everything the unprecedented down. storm is refusing to move away from the Bahamas, where Dorian has been drifting since Sunday. A lot of these people were not prepared for 185 mile an hour winds. New Orleans entrepreneur Sidney Torres is on the move too, buying thousands of pounds of food to send to survivors as soon as the storm clears. And we're going to use those cargo planes to bring boxes of food that are pre-prepared for, for a family of four. Torres took this picture of the islands on Saturday. He calls it the calm before the storm. He's currently developing his third project in the Bahamas, Dorian shifting his focus in the Caribbean from construction to relief. So they don't have to worry about food and they can worry about trying to figure out how they get their house and, and lives back in order. He says the needs right now are desperate. His friends on the islands searching for loved ones who've gone missing during Dorian. So I've talked to some people that, that I'm friends with that can't find their, their mother, can't find their father. It's going to be a long recovery, and um, this is just a small little piece that uh, I feel like I can do for all the great things that they've done and helped me with. And this is something that Torres has done before, responding to disasters in Haiti, also in Puerto Rico. He says that each one of these boxes can feed a family of four for four days during those initial moments of search and rescue. Reporting live in Mid-City, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.